Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. We are discussing limits and derivatives and this is a video lecture number 8. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 7 before watching part 8. And this lecture we are going to solve uh, some miscellaneous uh, questions from the miscellaneous exercise on this chapter. So let us start uh, solving some questions from miscellaneous exercise. Miscellaneous exercise. 13 on 13, right now, miscellaneous questions. So, question number 9 is, find derivative of, find derivative of a px square plus qx plus r, px square plus qx plus r, whole divided by ax plus b. So, we can use it like d by dx of px square plus qx plus r, whole divided by ax plus b. So that will be ax plus b into d by dx of px square plus qx plus r minus px square plus qx plus r into d by dx of ax plus b whole divided by ax plus b whole square. So that will be here uh, like uh, ax plus b into px square will be 2px plus q and derivative of r is 0. This is px square plus qx plus r into derivative of ax is a divided by ax plus b whole square. If you want to simplify, you can simplify it, otherwise you can left it, there is no problem. Now question number 10, and looking for question number 10, uh, find the derivative of the same thing, the derivative of, of a by x4 minus b by x square plus cos x. So to solve this, we can use it d by dx of a by x4 minus b by x square plus cos x. That can be written as d a times of d by dx of 1 by x to the power 4 minus b times d by dx of 1 by x square plus d by dx of cos x. Isn't it? So we can go ahead with this a and this is minus 4 x to the power minus 5 the derivative of that will come b times x to the power minus 2 2 so it will be minus 2 x to the power minus 3 and derivative of cos x is minus sin x derivative of cos x is minus sin x so we'll write here minus sin x the things will be like uh, minus 4a upon x to the power 5 and plus 2b upon x to the power 3 minus sin x answer okay and 11 question number 11 is there and this is given that find the derivative of find the derivative of of or even you can write it 4 root x minus 2, 4 root x minus 2. So what will happen? That will be d by dx of 4 root x minus 2. This is 4 times d by dx of root x minus d by dx of 2. So what will happen? This will be 4 into root x derivative of root x is 1 by 2 x to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 like that and derivative of this is 0 so this can cancel 2 times and this will be 2 times x to the power minus half so that will be 2 upon root x that will be answer so this is a question number 11 now we are moving for question number 12 and question number 12 is dy dx of ax plus b whole to the power n. Uh, this is a question from the function of function that is chain rule, but uh, 
this is beyond of the capacity of this book but still because this question is given we can solve it that is ax plus ax plus b i can use it formula like ax plus b whole to the power n if there will be in denominator also ax plus b then we can apply the formula since we had divided by this so we can multiply by this and dx will be this dx will be there now this is, can be applied as formula n ax plus b whole to the power n minus 1 using the formula d by dx of x to the power n and here derivative of ax will be a only and derivative of b will be 0 so the answer is n a x plus b whole to the power n minus 1 is the answer this is question number 12 i hope you got it now let us see the question number 13 and the 13 is given that uh, d by dx of that is derivative of we have to calculate ax plus b whole to the power n into cx plus d whole to the power n this is what so you can memorize uh, this as a formula that derivative of this is n times ax plus b to the power n minus 1 multiply by coefficient of x that is a here so similarly here you can also use this concept and you can deal with using by using product rule we can have dy we can have like uh, here that uh, ax plus b whole to the power n into d by dx of cx plus d whole to the power n plus cx plus d whole to the power n into d by dx of ax plus b whole to the power n so we can write it ax plus b whole to the power n into n times of cx plus d whole to the power n minus 1 into c plus cx plus d whole to the power n into n times of ax plus b n minus 1 multiply by coefficient of x that is a so we can take it on a common something common and what is that n times of ax plus b whole to the power n minus 1 and cx plus d whole to the power n minus 1 in that case what is left here c times of c times of ax plus b and plus here it will be left as a times of cx plus d and that will be answer acx that will be answer even the top one can be also written or if you want to simplify more about it then you can write it n minus 1 cx plus d to the power n minus 1 this is acx here acx 2acx plus bc plus ad and that would be answer so you can write answer at any stage there is no problem at all now looking for question number another question and that question is 14 so if i am uh, writing here question number 14 this is a derivative of we have to find dy dx of question number 14 that is sin x plus a so we can go ahead with dy dx of sin x plus a if in this one there will be x plus a then we can write derivative of sin x with respect to this cos x so d times of x plus a divided by dx so now derivative of sin x plus a sin x is cos x so, but in place of x there is an x plus a and derivative of x is 1 into derivative of a 1 plus 0 so 1 so answer is nothing else but cos of x plus a that will be answered now question number 15 15 is that question number 15 that uh, derivative of d by dx of cosec x cortex cosec x cortex so that is derivative of cosec x and cosec x as it is derivative of cortex 
plus cortex as it is derivative of cos of x. You can go ahead with this. Now uh, we can write it cos of x derivative of cortex is minus cos of square x and cortex into derivative of cos of x is minus cos of x cortex. So we can take minus cos of x common and what will happen in that case this will be cos of square x and uh, left from here and here it will be cot square x. So that will be answer, nothing else. We can write answer. Some more simplification is possible but that is not the purpose here that is trigonometric simplification. As far as concerned with derivative you can write it like that. You can convert cos of square x uh, cot square x is cos square x minus 1 and then the, all these things can be written but there is no use. Now question number 16. 16 is given here dy dx of cos x upon 1 plus sin x. Cos x upon 1 plus sin x. So we can apply here the um, quotient rule dy dx of cos x isn't it? and minus cos x as it is dy dx of 1 plus sin x whole divided by 1 plus sin x whole square. Can I write like this? Yes. So <coughs> what is left here? That is 1 plus sin x derivative of cos x is minus sin x minus cos x and derivative of 1 is 0 and derivative of sin x is cos x divided by 1 plus sin x whole square. So that will be cos square x from here and sin square x from there. So I can write here this is minus sin x minus sin square x minus cos square x is if I took minus common it will be sin square x plus cos square x that is 1. So if I take here minus common this will be plus upon 1 plus sin x whole square. So one of them cancels out and what is that left? One minus 1 upon 1 plus sin x and that is the answer of this question. So this is question number 16. Now question number 17 is there. It is given that derivative of sin x plus cos x sin x plus cos x upon sin x minus cos x sin x minus cos x. This is what given here. So we can apply this sin x minus cos x denominator as it is. Derivative of numerator that is sin x plus cos x minus sin x plus cos x as it is. And derivative of dy dx of sin x minus cos x. Whole divided by sin x minus cos x whole square right so that will come up here sin x minus cos x as it is derivative of sin x is cos x and derivative of cos x is minus sin x minus sin x plus cos x as it is and derivative of sin x is cos x and derivative of minus cos x cos x is minus sin x so it will be plus sin x whole divided by sin x minus cos x whole square. I hope you got it. Okay. Now this is nothing else but uh, if you simplify them it will be sin x minus cos x minus sin x minus cos x whole square and that will be sin x plus cos x whole square. So that will be also negative. So if I take negative common sin x plus cos x whole square and whole divided by sin x minus cos x whole square. This is in form of a minus b whole square and a plus b whole square. So in that case what is left? Minus 2ab plus 2ab will cancel out. Sin square x plus cos square x 2 times will be 2. So the answer will be minus 2 upon sin x minus cos x whole square. 
sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 from here sin square x plus cos square x 1 will be here and plus 2ab and minus 2ab will cancel out so 1 plus 1 is 2 that will be answer of this question so question number 17 is there now let us solve question number 18 d by dx of question number 18 is sec x minus 1 upon sec x plus 1 we can redirect it as um, 1 minus cos x sec x is 1 by cos x na? so 1 minus cos x upon 1 plus cos x we can do like this and now apply the cos 1 plus cos x into d by dx of 1 minus cos x minus 1 minus cos x into d by dx of 1 plus cos x whole divided by 1 plus cos x ka whole square so what will happen in that case it will left out as 1 plus cos x into 0 and derivative of cos x is minus sin x plus 1 minus cos x and derivative of this is 0 and derivative of cos x is minus sin x so i can write here minus sin x whole divided by 1 plus cos x whole square now the things will come like 1 sin x plus sin x cos x minus minus plus and sin x minus sin x cos x whole divided by 1 plus cos x whole square so these two are cancelled out and now answer is 2 sin x upon 1 plus cos x whole square that will be the answer of this question now let us discuss question number 19 and d by dx of sin to the power nx that we have to deal with. So we can take on at d by dx of sin x to the power n this type that is d sin of x to the power n upon d sin x isn't it then d sin x we have divided so we should multiply it. Now here this formula will be applicable that derivative of x to the power n upon dx so this can be written as n sin x whole to the power n minus 1 and derivative of sin x is cos x. So answer is n sin n to minus 1 x cos x that will be the answer. So you can deal like this question number 20 and d by dx of a plus b sin x b sin x divided by c plus d cos x d cos x this is the way how to deal with this so let us write here this is c plus d cos x cosine root d by dx of a plus b sin x minus a plus b sin x into d by dx of c plus d cos x whole divided by c plus d cos x whole square isn't it so that is what we have so we can write it like this now what is left out so it will be left like c plus d cos x isn't it and a plus b sin x a derivative of a is 0 plus b derivative of sin x is cos x minus a plus b sin x and here derivative of c is 0 and derivative of d cos x is d will be constant and derivative of cos x is minus sin x so d sin x whole divided by the same thing c plus d whole is cos x whole square whole divided by c plus d whole square c plus d cos x whole square isn't it now this will be b c cos x b c cos x plus b d 
cos square x minus minus plus this is plus a d sin x a d sin x and uh, b d sin square x b d sin square x whole divided by c plus v cos square x whole divided by c plus v cos x whole square now sin square x and sin x cos x everything is there and nothing common like so we will write answer in this one this is the answer okay now question number 21 d by dx of sin x plus a whole divided by cos x that you need to do so we can write here cos x as it is d by dx of sin x plus a minus sin x plus a as it is d by dx of what cos x whole divided by cos square x cos x whole square apply the quotient rule and now the things will come like cos x derivative of sin x plus a is cos x plus a we have learned it earlier right now and minus sin x plus a and derivative of cos x is minus sin x divided by cos square x so it will be nothing else but the minus minus plus cos x plus a cos x plus sin x plus a sin x divided by cos square x this is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b cos a cos b plus sin a sin b cos a minus b so this is x plus a minus x divided by cos square x so x x cancel and what is left cos a and this cos square x in numerator will be sin square x that will be answer so you can deal with this this way i hope uh, you are getting all these points isn't it and definitely you are happy with all these uh, questions because there are variety of questions so let us uh, solve some more questions related to it and now question number 22 question number 22 is d by dx of d by dx of x4 into 5 sin x minus 3 cos x 5 sin x minus 3 cos x so you can go ahead with this that x4 as it is let me write here in the integrator x4 as it is d by dx of 5 sin x minus 3 cos x plus 5 sin x minus 3 cos x into d y dx of x to the power so that will come x to the power 4 into 5 derivative of sin x is cos x and derivative of cos x is minus sin x so minus minus plus minus sin will be plus here plus 5 sin x minus 3 cos x and derivative of x 4 is 4 x cube and that will be the answer of this question no need to solve it further now question number 23 question number 23 is d by dx of x square plus 1 into cos x so the derivative of this you can calculate it that cos x as it is d by dx of x square plus 1 plus x square plus 1 as it is and d by dx of cos x isn't it so we can go ahead with this cos x into derivative of x square is 2x and derivative of 1 is 0 that is x square plus 1 and derivative of cos x is minus sin x so the answer is 2x cos x minus x square plus 1 sin x that will be the answer of this question now looking for question number 24 
and this question is given as d by dx of ax square ax square plus sin x into p plus q cos x p plus q cos x so this you have to find the derivative of this one so again you can apply product rule so using product rule you will have the solution of this question that ax square plus sin x into dy dx of p plus q cos x plus p plus q cos x into dy dx of ax square plus sin x so here what is left that is ax square plus sin x and derivative of p is 0 q and minus sin x derivative of cos x is minus sin x so that is p plus q cos x and here derivative of x square is 2x so 2ax and derivative of sin x is cos x now uh, that will be ax square plus sin x into minus q sin x and plus p plus q cos x into 2ax plus cos x and that will be answer if you want to simplify you can simplify it because uh, sometimes might be cancels out or sometimes may be combined together but that is the separate issue you can do that now question number 25 d by dx of x plus cos x into x minus tan x x minus tan x and this is what so again you can apply the product rule isn't it you can apply product rule and that way uh, x plus cos x as it is into dy dx of x minus tan x plus x minus tan x as it is and dy dx of x plus cos x so we can write it further here x plus cos x into derivative of x is 1 and derivative of tan x is sec square x plus x minus tan x into derivative of x is 1 and derivative of cos x is minus sin x now that will come like uh, x minus x sec square x plus cos x and cos x minus sec square x is minus sec x plus x into x sin x minus tan x minus minus plus cos x cos x so cos x and cos x 2x is there anything which will cancel out x plus x is 2x so 2x plus 2 cos x you can do that right now so this will be 2x that will be 2 cos x isn't it if i make it, so that will be plus 2 cos x and uh, sec x and tan x x sin x will be there so this term will cancels out and this will also combine together now rest of things are left out and that will be the answer so sec x minus x sin x minus tan x sec x minus x sin x minus tan x that will be the answer of the question i hope you got it now question number 26 so question number 26 is what let me explain this question number 26 is dy dx of 4x plus 5 sin x divided by 3x plus 7 cos x 3x plus 7 cos x so you can use quotient rule and by using quotient rule 3x plus 7 cos x into derivative of this derivative of 4x is 4 and derivative of sin x is 5 cos x 
now you can you are enough intelligent so that i am doing it directly now 4x plus 5 sin x as it is and derivative of 3x is 3 and derivative of cos x is 7 cos x is 7 cos derivative of cos x is minus sin x divided by 3x plus 7 cos x whole square and that will be answer you may simplify it there is no problem and uh, if you simplify it uh, let me simplify it. why i leave this for you so 4 3 are 12 x and 4 3 are 12 x 12 x minus 12 x will cancel out right now 4x multiply by 5 cos x is 4 5 jar, 4 3 jar, 15 x cos x and 7 4 jar, 28 cos x plus 35 cos square x minus 4 3 jar, 12 that has been cancelled out and 4x minus 7 that is minus 28 x cos x so it will be plus 28 x cos x due to this negative sign and now 5 into 3, 5, 3 is 15 sin x, right? And minus, minus plus. So that will be plus 4, 7, 5, 7, 5, 35 sin square x. So that will be 35 sin square x. Whole divided by 3x plus 7 cos x whole square. So... They, is there anything common or cancels out? No. 35 cos square x plus 35 sin square will be 35 and nothing else apart from that. So that would be 15. That would be finally, um, this is 15 x cos x and uh, 28 x cos x. So 15 plus 28 is 43 so we can write it 43 x cos x isn't it plus 28 cos x 28 cos x minus 15 sin x plus 35 divided by 3 x plus 7 cos x whole square that would be the answer so you can do like that now the next question is question number 26 is there 27 question number 27 and this 27 question is d by dx of x square cos 5 by 4 divided by sin x cos 5 by 4 is 1 by root 2 so it can be taken out of it and now d by dx of x square upon sin x this further uh, you can apply quotient rule or even you sin x can be written as 1 by 8 d by dx of x squares cos x you can write d by dx of x square cos x d by dx of x square cos x right like that so what will happen that will be 1 by root 2 into derivative of x square d by dx of cos x plus cos x as it is d by dx of x square right so what will happen that will be 1 by root 2 into x square minus cos x cot x plus 2x cos x so i can take x cos x common and that will be x cos x common upon root 2 then what will happen this will be 2 left from there minus x cos x has been taken common so minus x cot x is left and that will be answer that will be answer of this question so i hope you got it now two three questions are left so let me finish them also now question number 28 and question number 28 is 
nothing else but d by dx of x by 1 plus tan x. You can apply quotient rule and that is nothing else but 1 plus tan x into d by dx of x minus x as it is d by dx of 1 plus tan x divided by 1 plus tan x whole square. So that will be 1 plus tan x into 1 minus x and derivative of a tan x is sec square x divided by 1 plus tan x whole square. So that will be answer, nothing else. Now question number 29 and there is a question number 29. Question number 29 is d by dx of x plus sec x into x minus tan x, x minus tan x, x plus sec x into x minus tan x. That is so we can use product rule x plus sec x as it is. Now d by dx of x minus tan x plus x minus tan x as it is d by dx of x plus sec x. So we can write it like x plus sec x. Derivative of x is 1 and tan x is sec square x plus x minus tan x as it is and derivative of x is 1 and derivative of sec x is sec x tan x. That will be basically answered. There is no need to write it further but sec square x minus 1 is tan square x so we can write it x plus sec x into minus tan square x plus x x minus tan x into 1 plus sec x tan x and that will be answered. If some more simplification is there you can do that but uh, hardly it seems like that. Here uh, some things will come like x tan square x minus sec x tan square x plus x into x plus x sec x tan x minus tan x into sec x tan square x minus sec x tan square x tan square x. So sec x tan square x is here also and there also. So it will be 2 sec x tan square x. So here it will be x sec x tan x, x sec x tan x minus 2 sec x tan square x, right, 2 sec x tan square x minus x tan square x minus tan x plus x, that comes here. Now, if I took uh, something common, is there something common? No, nothing common. Tan square x. No, nothing common. Except for this two. So, we can write here x sec x tan x and minus 2 sec x tan square x. If I took x common, then it will be plus x1 minus tan square x minus tan x. That will be answered. You can leave here also. There is no problem. Now the last question is dy dx of dy dx of x upon sine to the power n x. Again apply the quotient rule sine to the power n into x into dy dx of x minus x into dy dx of sine x to the power n or sine n x right divided by sine to the power nx and whole square. So that will come up like uh, sine 
एन एक्स डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस इज वन माइनस एक्स इंटू डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ साइन एक्स टू दी पावर एन सो विल राइट डी ऑफ साइन एक्स टू दी पावर एन अपॉन डी साइन एक्स इंटू डी साइन एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई डी एक्स एंड होल डिवाइडेड बाई things will come like sin to the power n x 2 n x so the things will come like uh, sin to the power n x minus x n sin x to the power n minus 1 to derivative of sin x is cos x divided by sin 2 n x so this is nothing else we can write answer simplify in simplified way that is sin to the power nx this is answer nothing else is sin to the power nx minus nx cos x or sin to the power n minus 1 can be taken common right okay. we can take common sin to the power n minus 1 so that will be written like sin to the power n minus 1 into x there is sin x minus what is left if uh, sin n x cos x divided by sin to the power 2 n x so if i take this common sin to the power n minus 1 x This cancels out here in plus one x will left out and sin x minus n con x cos x will left. So that will be the answer. So this is all about uh, the questions uh, of from Slade's side. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and uh, you have understood it also. So we will see you in the next class. Till then, bye bye. God bless. And uh, if uh, you haven't subscribed this channel yet. Please do subscribe and press bell icon so that you will get notification whenever a new video is uploaded. Thank you, thank you very much. God bless.